Hello Tikis, welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna and let's get started. Let's learn more about data validation. We have learned a lot of SQL and we will learn data validation. Today I'm going to teach you about a different ways that you can do data validation. There might be multiple ways of data validation like file to file comparison, file to database, database to file. How we can do that and how we can do comparison also in Excel that is mostly uh, data validation can be done or data reconciliation is what people use it so let's get started let's go into the screen and let's see how we can do all this this video might be a little longer or uh, i will split this video into multiple parts so the first part uh, let's get started so uh, let me go to internet and let's download employees csv data download csv data download let's go to this first link and yes this is what we want let's download the okay let's make it easy okay uh, zip is downloaded okay let's copy this to this folder i have created this data validation folder so here is my employee CSV. Let me extract it. Okay. Employee CSV is here. So I'll deal with the same employee data. Okay. This is in CSV file. So I am opening now with Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel. So this is the data we are going to deal with. And uh, this is easily available. I'll just give the link of this. This link I will provide in the description box, which you can download and then use and uh, play around with this data and also you can create more multiple data i will also uh, teach you how you can import the data into d viewer into uh, oracle database and then also play around with that data and how you can write sequels so i'll just teach uh, uh, how to do data validation whether it's file to file or it's um, you know uh, in excel or it is database to database so this kind of comparison is what i will teach in this particular series so the first video i will teach only about how you can do uh, basic uh, uh, database validation so i'll just use this employees.csv so as per our normal i use dbviewer usually and i have this oracle database installed in this and dbviewer so if you want me to explain about how to download oracle database i am planning to create a, a video on that so please uh, write uh, hashtag uh, install database so i have opened a new sql editor here you can see i have this uh, oracle database installed so i'll just go to this schema and here i have scott schema so what i would like to do is um, let me see if I can create a schema or else or we can just use any of the two schemas here. Uh, here I have Scott and uh, let me use this BI and try to import data into this CSV and where is our data? Data is here employees. Yes, employees Next next and next and you can read this again let's proceed see yes data is imported if you go into here tables employees employees is only table that is there so let's go to uh, spot also let's see if there is an employees table there is no employees table so let's import the same data here next uh, employees dot this is the data next 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 we can just click on next and you don't have to worry a lot about this this data is imported so let me make it clear here uh here if you see oracle and scott so uh, let me verify just for very let me just verify just verify select star from uh, scott dot employees if you see here employees not there let me refresh this the moment i refresh employees comes in okay and if you see this data is there awesome and let's check in the other database also which was bi okay select star from bi dot employees perfect so the data is the same 
so whether uh, i'll just open the data and go to here data employees.csv so if you see this data see here the data this data and this particular data is the same so if you see 198 donald nate donald 199 dogs grand so this data is the same which was there in employee csv okay so if you didn't get it so just rewind the video and watch it again how i imported so basically this is the oracle database in this i have two schemas which is a bi schema and a scott schema inside this i didn't create any table i have not created any table guys so there is no ddl commands i have directly clicked here right and then import data so and csv is the choice there you can also choose any other choice for now csv is the default choice so i just did next and i imported choose whichever file i want then i did next so data is imported so if you see here is data okay which is in scott schema and it is in bi schema so these two are the tables so i just verified so this verify can also be called as smoke testing smoke testing okay so you are just verifying if the data is loaded or not okay this is called as smoke testing so let me in this first video we are going to learn how to do a database to database comparison the database is the same database we'll go into different uh, testings where the database is also changing so we'll learn that also in future but now now we are doing a testing of oracle to oracle database only and this is going to be a table to table comparison so in the next video uh, i will teach how to do the testing for now in this video i have only taught you how uh, you can import the data in the next video i will teach you how to do write queries to validate the data and in the upcoming videos i'll teach you how to do it uh, we had a csv file right how can we do csv file to table comparison and table to csv file comparison and file to file if both are file and different databases how to compare in excel also that also we will learn in this series we will learn all these different so i will have around four to five videos in this series we, we, i will try to complete the whole series in this whole month in this 2024 uh, january the whole month we'll try to complete this whole series and you will get the insight of how to do file to file comparison how to do table to table val validation all these different kind of validation you will learn so i hope you like this video uh, please subscribe to the channel i see a lot of people around 70 percent of the people don't even subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel i take a lot of effort to create these kind of videos it takes a lot of effort and there's a lot of background work that needs to be done and happy new year for uh, all the engineers who are watching the videos those are students studying in college and those who are already working professionals who are working uh, uh, very very adventurous and a challenging new year uh, 2024 i hope you get all different success that you have and you get better uh, job opportunities better salary and a lot of success to you uh, please subscribe to the channel and if you like the video please like the video and see you in the next video bye bye